Microprobing Technologies, presented by Mike Petrosino, Optical Gauging Products, Division of Quality Vision International. New manufacturing technologies enable increasing complex parts to be manufactured in even smaller sizes with even smaller tolerances. These microparts put new demands on measurement systems. To keep up with these demands, a range of new microprobing technologies are available. First, let's talk about how small microparts really are. Typically, parts in the range of 10 to 300 microns in size are considered micro. Exactly how big is a micron? Well, consider this. A spore of pollen, which cannot be seen with the naked eye, is 30 to 50 microns in diameter. Dust mites are 250 microns, ordinary office paper is 100 microns thick, human hair 50 to 90 microns, pollen 30 to 50 microns, and staphylococcus 1 micron. To put these dimensions into perspective, 1000 microns is just 1 millimeter. Microprobes extend sensor technologies into the micro realm using novel techniques to measure these tiny features. There are two general classes of microprobes. Contact or near contact probes which measure using physical contact or proximity to a part and non-contact probes that measure with no physical contact. A typical touch trigger probe stylus ranges in size from 5 millimeters to as little as 1 millimeter. In some special cases, a stylus can be as small as 0.3 millimeters. Probing forces are typically on the order of 6 grams in X and Y and 66 grams in Z. To measure features which are either too small or too sensitive for conventional probing, we can use a microprobe technology known as a feather probe. The feather probe stylus ranges from 1 millimeter to as small as 125 microns, with a probing force as low as 1 milligram. That's 6,000 times less force than a normal touch probe. The feather probe allows for contact measurements of flexible and delicate materials. For added functionality, we can pair this type of probe with imaging optics which ensures the probe is properly positioned for measurement. For measuring surface contours or profiles on microparts, a micro-scanning probe has a 50 micron styli and a length of up to 25 millimeters. It has one gram of contact force and is capable of scanning surfaces or measuring single points. A third type of contact microprobe is the interposer. The interposer is a hybrid that combines tactile probing and video imaging to measure in very small, tight spaces. The interposer measures points on edge by viewing the displacement of a probe in contact with that edge. The tip diameter of this interposer is 80 microns. The interposer is most useful for measuring very small internal or recessed features. Non-contact probes use a variety of optics and light sources to form images or create profiles of microparts. The Telestar Plus TTL laser uses a unique interferomic sensing technology that yields a high measurement resolution. The interferometer includes a built-in reference enabling high accuracy even in difficult measurement conditions such as diffuse light scattering surfaces, contours, and machined metal parts. The Telestar Plus has a very long working distance and narrow return angle, allowing measurement of high aspect ratio recessed surfaces as much as 200 millimeters deep. The Rainbow Probe is an optical device that measures surfaces by analyzing changes in the optical spectrum as a function of part-to-probe spacing as it scans. The probe's small spot size enables the Rainbow Probe to access small features, and its on-access measuring technique allows it to measure recessed features that may not be accessible by other means. 
The nanometer resolution is ideal for characterization of thin films, adhesives, semiconductors, and lenses. Vision is another great type of microprobing technology. Put any small parts on the stage in any orientation and through video we can automatically locate, orient, and measure them. This is useful for tracking part order and dimensions and can also be used to flag bad parts for removal. Micro-optical 3D imaging can be used to measure very small features or contours. The technique samples the image at hundreds or even thousands of microsteps to build a 3D rendering which can be analyzed for height, depth, flatness, or volume. The technique is one of few capable of measuring ultra-shallow features, such as 20 nanometer dimples on the air-bearing surface of a disk drive reader head. Our final non-contact microprobe is the TFT photospectrometer for measuring thickness of thin films. Like the rainbow probe, the TFT sensor uses a very small spot of broad-spectrum white light to probe a surface coated with film or photoresist. Model-based software compares reflectance and N and K values to determine thickness of single or multi-layer films as thin as 100 angstrom to as thick as 500 microns. Microprobes offer highly capable 2D and 3D measurement capability for microfeatures and parts. The ability to measure these ultra-small features brings critical process control data to manufacturers working with high-value materials and complex processes.